Welcome to the National Bat Monitoring Program's Waterway Survey. This video will show you what it's like to take part. You will be surveying two evenings in August. If you're relatively new to bat detecting, this is an excellent survey to get involved. Once you sign up to participate in the Waterway Survey, you will receive your survey pack. You will also need a tunable bat detector for this survey to identify Dorbentin spats, a species closely associated with waterways. Carry a torchlight for your safety and using it sparingly to help identify Dorbentin spats. Here's an example of a route you would follow for your survey. You will walk a one kilometer stretch along a waterway with 10 stopping points. At each stopping point, you will record any Dorbentin spat passes. Before starting your survey, ask a friend to join you for your safety. Before starting your survey, note down the time, temperature and weather conditions on your survey form. Your survey will begin 40 minutes after sunset at your first stopping point. When you arrive to your first stopping point, tune your detector to 35 kHz. Here's an example of Dorbenton's bat's echolocation calls being picked up by the detector. You will hear very rapid dry clicks. There are other species that sound very similar, so we use visual clues to confirm it's a Dorbenton's bat. Now that you have tuned to the correct frequency on your detector, it's time to start listening for possible Dorbenton's bat passes for four minutes at your fixed position. Use your detector and torch to listen and look for Dorbenton's bats as they fly past. Briefly use your torch to scan the water when you think you hear a Dorbenton's bat approaching on your detector. In this clip, you can hear the bat on the detector as it approaches. Aim your torch at the water surface and quickly turn it on to see the bat. Sometimes early on in the survey, it's possible to see Dorbenton's bats by the ambient light, so there's no need to use a torch. Here's a compilation of videos showing Dorbenton's bats flying close to the surface of the water. Other kinds of bats may occasionally swoop down to the water level, but Dorbenton's bat is the only species that continuously flies low over the water. It's really fun to watch. You'll need to count the number of times a Dorbenton's bat flies past in four minutes. Here's an example of two bat passes. Even if you can tell it's the same bat, it counts as two passes. During your survey, only record Dorbenton's bat passes when you can hear the bat's echolocation call and also see the bat continuously flying along the water's surface. If it sounds like a Dorbenton's bat, but you can't see the bat flying low over the water, then note it down as a Dorbenton's bat unsure. Sometimes you may not have direct access to the waterway during your survey. A fence or dense vegetation may block you from seeing the water. At some point you can see the water, but you aren't able to get close enough to the water level, which can be tricky when it comes to identifying the bats. This is quite common, so just do the best as you can. It can get dark quite quickly, so always keep your torch close at hand when walking between stopping points during the survey. You may encounter many pipistrels and other species while surveying. Still, the waterway survey only focuses on Dorbenton's bats, so enjoy the different bat species, but only record Dorbenton's bat. When you have completed counting Dorbenton's bats at all your 10 stopping points, note the time you finished surveying and the total number of bats you recorded. Thank you for watching this video. To join the waterway survey, scan the QR code on the screen.